Hey y'all, what's up? This is Rosie, and the big news on YouTube all week has been the Try Guys, Ned Fulmer, cheating on his beautiful wife, Ariel, with their employee, Alex something or other. And, um, yeah, when I heard about that, not only was I disappointed, but I was pissed off. I used to watch the Try Guys. The first Try Guy I knew anything about was Eugene. And you gotta love Eugene. And then I started watching videos with Keith eating different foods and Zach and um, and of course Ned. And they all had a special place in my heart. Zach was always my favorite because I always thought he was adorable and I still do. Eugene is my kids favorite for reasons that are their own and I think he is an awesome awesome human being. He seems very witty and just uh, very proud of who he is as an LGBTQ person and um, and yeah uh, he's talented he can sing he can dance like why are you not a Korean idol Eugene <laughs> so um, Keith because of all the foods that he can eat it it fascinates me so yeah I, I watched him too and then there's Ned Ned really resonated with me because of how much he how much he seemed to love Ariel he was literally the I love my wife guy and the I love my wife and kids guy that was his personality that was his persona that was his brand that was his thing there is a video on YouTube of a compilation of how many times he said my wife over the years everything about him sort of all reverts back to his wife he always tried to bring her up in conversation my wife my wife my wife my wife my wife and I think I thought it was cute I thought it was just how he included her in everything I mean she's done try guys videos because she was one of the try wives and so um, it just I just thought it was really sweet because my marriage failed I got divorced back in 2007 my marriage broke down in 2003 and we were separated for three and a half years until our divorce was finalized so the fact that he loved her so much really struck a chord within me and I think a lot of people look to them as relationship goals, marriage goals. You know, I, I think I probably said a time or two, if only I had a man who loved me like that. Not realizing that I did have a man who loved me like that. He loved me just like that. He loved me so much that he left me for another woman. Um. Yeah, I have no respect for him. I have absolutely no respect for Alex. She was, um, she was engaged and was just caught out there with him and she went along with it. I know there's a power dynamic thing and I have my feelings about that, but I'm going to keep them to myself because I think I'm the minority on that and I don't want to get myself in trouble when I'm trying to be a public figure myself. So I'm just going to keep that to myself and if anybody ever asks, I'm not going to tell them. I just have my feelings about that. I know there's a power dynamic thing there, but she was a willing participant is all I'll say and I have no respect for her 
and as Ned was let go from the company, I think she also should have been let go. I don't feel that they are going to break up. That's just how I feel. I don't think they're going to stop seeing each other. And I think that they're going to keep in touch. Because that's, that's just how things are with, with people like that. That's how my ex was. Um, he kept in touch with people that he cheated on me with. Even if it wasn't for very long after, it was for a long enough time that it made me not trust him anymore. And it made me look at him in a manner that he knew that I couldn't trust him. When I married him, I knew that I wasn't going to have forever with him because he just wasn't a trustworthy guy. He even cheated on me with a woman that was supposedly my friend, and I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to say that I tried to stay friends with her after because she was married too. I tried to stay friends with her after, and it just didn't work out for other reasons unrelated. And uh, to this day, she always says, I wish that things had worked out with our friendship. I wish that things didn't get so messed up. And she never, ever addresses what it was she did in the ways that break, in the, in the things that she did that broke down our friendship. I'm not going to get into that here. I'll probably put it in my book though. And uh, for her sake, she better hope she doesn't read it. But anyway, off of me. That's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother thing. I was really hurt and disappointed in Ned on behalf of Ariel because he seemed to be the guy that most women wanted to be married to. You know, the way he, you know, even though he left BuzzFeed for a more successful and stable career and succeeded in it and not only that Ned got oh gosh he and the guys signed a deal with Food Network and they had their own show on there and he was proud of it their popularity was growing they wrote a best-selling book like, he and his wife had a best-selling book. The Try Guys had a best-selling book. Like, it was like, how can you mess this up? And he found a way. What was he thinking? BuzzFeed has millions of subscribers, and you had millions of views on BuzzFeed. Then, when you left BuzzFeed, you started a channel with your partners, and you got millions of subscribers on there and millions of views. You went to Food Network, and you're getting views on Food Network. You have two best-selling books that I know of. There are probably more. I don't know, because I haven't kept up with the Try Guys in several years. I stopped watching them several years ago. And I don't understand how he didn't think he would get caught. He's out there having lunch with Alex back in May. There was a picture of them taken. And then they get, they get caught together in a club. They get caught together at a... At a, um... Who was it that they went to see? Harry Styles, I think. So... I just don't understand how he didn't figure he would get caught. Dude, you're a recognizable figure. For one, you're a ginger. And for two, your face is just noticeable. It's not like you're just some basic looking white dude where you are. But you're a basic white dude who is recognizable, especially to fans who have grown up watching you over a course of what 10 years and then you oh gosh you risked your marriage 
and your family life and your career to step out with your employee. And she messed up her relationship, 10 year relationship with her fiance to be with you. Like I said, I have my feelings on that because everybody's talking about power dynamic this and, and all of that and I have my feelings on that but I'm gonna keep that to myself. All I will say is, Ned, I am very disappointed in you, as most of your fans are, as your former business partners are, and I had so many high hopes for you and Ariel to have a long-lasting and beautiful relationship. Maybe she'll stay with you if she does you need to do what you can to not fuck up again. But Ariel, sweetie, I used to be married to with a serial cheater. I, I was married to a serial cheater and he would not stop stepping out on me. Of course, he did tell me every time he did it because of some false sense of guilt that he had and he had to let it out I don't know I guess but after a while that gets old and he eventually did leave me for someone else so Ariel just keep your heart guarded keep yourself vigilant keep your eyes open always watch him do not trust him but also if y'all can get some kind of counseling and um, and if he stops keeping in touch with Alex and any other woman that he may have cheated with because if there's one there are usually others you know if if he can stop being selfish and stop thinking of his dick for a while maybe y'all make it but just keep yourself guarded and yeah, I think that's all I got to say about this. So, I'm gonna go, you guys. I'm out of words. And I can't really say the things that I want to say, so I'm just gonna stop right here. Um, thank you guys for wasting time with me. I love you guys very, very much. Hope to see y'all on the next upload, and bye for now. My wife. 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 My